Hello everyone, today I will cover a brief introduction into the materials of Maxwell Render. This will cover very basics of materials and should be enough to get any new users started. Before I begin, I'd like to point out that I am now using Maxwell 2.7. This was released yesterday and as a result I've not had a chance to field test it yet. If we discover any bugs in the process of today, I apologise. So, first of all, let's get started. Uh, like everything in Maxwell Render, there's more than one way to create materials. For example, you can go to the Materials menu in the menu bar and select New Material. Or, another way of doing it is going over to the Materials Manager, right-clicking and selecting New Material. For me, going over to Materials Manager and right-clicking New Material is usually the faster method. So that gives you a new material. Double-click it to open it up and it opens up the Material Editor. Now I'm going to cover the material editor in more depth later on, but I'm going to ignore it for today or gloss over it if you like for today. But let's look at the most basic way of making materials and they are the wizards. They're found here in the material editor menu bar and you have a variety of wizards which will make uh, a variety of materials. And they are an excellent start for beginners. I'm not going to go through all of them now, but as an example, if I go to uh, plastic and just use the default values, whatever it says, percent of shininess, percent of roughness, whatever, and a color, yeah, okay. And if I click this little preview symbol here, shows me my preview. So those are the wizards. Try them out and uh, see what they do. Another way of making a material in Maxwell is to import an existing material. Maxwell materials are individual files in their own right and it's very easy to make a new material and save it for later use. Some materials are provided in the installation files as examples. Like most things in Maxwell, there's more than one way to do this. For example, you can go to uh, the materials menu in the menu bar and go to import MXM or you can go to the materials manager, right click and select import MXM. This should bring up a selection of materials which are included in the installation files and you can select one to open. You'll then be given a message whether or not you want to embed the material in the scene or keep it as an MXM reference. If you select Embed in Scene, you will copy all the parameters of the material into a new material in your scene. If you keep as MXM a reference, Maxwell will still reference the original material file. For example, if you had a material which was used in a variety of scenes and you wanted to be able to edit a single material but change it in all the scenes, you could select Keep as MXM reference and do just that. But if I select Embed in Scene, it just gives me this material. Lastly, I'm going to show you the Maxwell Render Resources page, formerly known as the MXM Gallery. The address is resources.maxwellrender.com and registration is free to uh, over 4,000 materials. Once you've registered and log in, you can search for whatever material you're looking for, for example, uh, pine wood or something. And you, once you've found what you want, download it, unzip it, and import it as you would any other material using right-click, import MXM in the Materials Manager, or Materials in the menu bar and import MXM. I will cover Maxwell Render Materials and their related options in more depth in the near future. Keep watching this channel for more. For more information about Maxwell Render training at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology, email maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com